Good morning everyone. Today is Monday, Monday the 11th I believe. Um, I wasn't really kind of vlogging last week because my computer died um, and I was trying to figure out what the problem was and apparently figured out that it was a charger, um, the end piece to the charger and for those of you who don't know I have a MacBook Air um, and it's really really handy. At first it was kind of hard because I was used to Microsoft uh, but Ryan taught me how to use the Mac and I really enjoy Mac more than I do like a Microsoft um, But I know everybody has their own preferences, but just sent off Ryan to work Mila's still sleeping which is nine. She's kind of been doing that, but um Last night she woke up like one time and then I went and checked on her uh, Because she was coughing so I'm hoping she's not she didn't catch anything because um, we did like a small photo shoot yesterday and it was cold even though she was dressed she had mittens on a good jacket boots a hat um, and we were out there for maybe 25 minutes so I'm hoping she didn't catch anything because um, this weekend um, Ryan's family comes and we are going to celebrate Christmas early because Everybody has uh, their ob other obligations to go to, but I was going to show you guys my breakfast. This is my breakfast. So sometimes during the week, most of the times during the week, I actually make shakes. Um, they're, you know, just fruit shakes. Um, the base is usually almond milk, about like a quarter amount in the cup. Um, and then I do, for mine, because it's small, I can't do big cups. Um, mine has a half a banana. And then I give the other half of banana to Mila. Um, and then I put either a teaspoon of peanut butter or a little bit of avocado. And that kind of helps the mixture to be a little bit more creamy. That's kind of how I like it. And then I'll buy some frozen fruit. Usually it's strawberries, pineapples peaches um, or sometimes I buy the berry mixture and then I also buy a separate bag of what are they called raspberries um, and then I add some cinnamon to it cinnamon actually helps adjusting your um, hormone levels and um, I just kind of like the taste it's not strong when you put it in the shake but um, you do taste just a tad of it you can add a little bit of lemon to it to give it a little bit of a sour taste. Um, what else do I add? Oh, and I add some cocoa powder. Um, and I feel like that kind of helps me with the craving of eating sweets. Um, which I'm not really craving sweets this time around. I have made myself some chocolate covered pretzels. Uh, but I think I like them because it has salt on the pretzels. But of course they're vegan pretzels. And I bought some vegan butter, just melted it, and then uh, dipped them into the chocolate, laid them out on the plate, then put them in the freezer. Um, another good dish to serve your people. But that's just another good option for breakfast like today. You know, we got up a little later and Ryan was in a hurry to get out of the house. So I usually have my coffee maker set up um, for, you know, half a pot or a full pot. Have my coffee grinds in, my water. All I have to do is press a button. And then I just assemble these shakes and put his lunch in the bag and he's ready to go. Christmas tree, you ready? Uh, you ready? Uh, you one, uh, two, three! Yay! So every morning I have my Christmas or her Christmas tree turned off because it's too bright when she goes to sleep. And then it's kind of a tradition where I turn it on every morning and she loves seeing the lights. 
You love seeing the lights, honey? And of course, I got her humidifier going because our house is extremely dry. And uh, if you need suggestions for a humidifier, actually, at first didn't care for this Vicks one, but we have bought several, and this seems to be the best one as far as price. They have those little pads that you can put, like the vape pads, um, and usually it lasts a good two days um, on the setting, probably usually a medium, so it's not too dry. And of course, this is a cool mist humidifier because that's what you need whenever it's super dry. We're about to go to the restroom, take a little pee break, because Mila's a big girl. You're a big girl, aren't you? You ready to come with Mama? You ready to come with Mama? Let's go with Mama. Come here. Oh, that's my baby. Oh, that's my baby. You're so cute. <laughs> You such a good girl. You have a good night. Yeah, you did. You have a good night. She wakey yeah. wakey. Yeah. Yeah. You had a good night, honey. I love you. So I just laid Mila down for a nap. I'm actually working on my blog, um, actually posting a vegan buttermilk pancake recipe from this weekend. I tried it for the first time and it's delicious. So if you're, you know, if you don't have buttermilk at your home, uh, at, uh, at home, um, you know, cause that's usually not something people typically, I know what's with my hair, typically cook with. And so sometimes they don't buy, we don't have that in stock. Um, so it's a great way to create uh, that soury taste you know what I mean and it actually makes it a little bit fluffier so make sure that you go to victoriacole.com and look up that recipe you can also pin it I created an image for you guys to pin it to your board on Pinterest I know I save my food recipes on Pinterest and I try them out um, add my own stuff to it kind of perfect it and then I'm like yeah this is my recipe this is what I like but anyway I'm about to eat my lunch um, this is golden potato it's from yesterday uh, tomato of course salted uh, two radishes and two uh, pieces of toast and this is a half an avocado it's a little bit less than half an avocado but I've been really liking to just squeeze some lemon on it uh, salt pepper mix it and just put it on some toast um, and that's kind of my meal so with plant-based foods um, especially when um, now that I'm pregnant, I'm kind of realizing that I get hungrier faster. Um, so I have to make sure that I eat foods that actually will kind of sustain me just a little bit longer. Um, honestly, I'm that kind of person, like I want to eat and be done with it. So it kind of frustrates me during the pregnancy stage that I just constantly feel hungry. So, um, but I mean, it, it's not a bad thing because, you know, I'm not eating fatty, fatty foods. Um, other than, you know, weekends, sometimes we do splurge and eat a lot of carbs, but um, uh, usually during the week, we eat pretty good and pretty clean, so, um, and on top of that, it's, of course, plant-based foods, but I actually was going to show you guys my um, Christmas tree. I keep adding to it. Um, I didn't turn on the star, but I did insta story that i added some led lights to the star so it lights up but it is on battery so i'm gonna turn it off during the day but instead of actually twisting the um burlap around i actually kind of tucked it in and i went to the store and bought another piece of bar bur burlap and another lace it's kind of like golden i don't know if you can see it over there um so i think it kind of looks much fuller and looks a lot better um, of course, I'm always on the lookout for more uh, or ornaments because technically we just started buying some really good ones. So it's always kind of in progress when it comes to Christmas tree decorating. But I'm about to dig in, enjoy my lunch, do a few tasks that I have to do. I have to make a phone, few phone calls and then I got a finish another blog post and hopefully post that today so kind of a busy Monday
Come on. Look, look, Lula. Look, look what I got. Look, Lula. Look. Look. It's a car. Wow. Just bring her down here. Look. Wow. Come on, Lula. Wow. Come on, Lula. Come on. Wow. Wow. What is that? Here, just put her down and see if she walks to it. Come here. Wow. Wow. Look. Watch. <gasps> wow. Wow. The car has started. Please fasten your seatbelt. There's, oh. Get in. <laughs> Say careful, Poppy. <laughs> wow. Christmas came early for the Coles. Mom and Dad came over, so we get about 30 minutes to ourselves. <laughs> Exciting. And the reason we are is because I, uh, burned my hand I know it probably looks really gross um, and bubbled it was scalding hot tea because I like to drink my tea out of the pot I don't know how my mouth can handle that but my hand can't handle that so uh, I was I guess being a little clumsy with it and it kind of spilled all over my hand so the last time she scalded herself like that um, with hot water we had just started dating a week and we were um, at a gathering with friends at Victoria's house and uh, when she lived with her brother and um, she spilled the entire hot water down her leg straight out of the pot, like out of the, the teapot. And I remember she ran into the bathroom because she's such an introverted person. She's not gonna let you see pain or let you see her cry. Um, and I just felt so helpless. And you know, after no, it was, I, I was holding the cake in one hand, which was Samantha's cake, and she didn't know about it. Oh, um, Samantha's birthday, cause, yeah, because Samantha came, and I think it was the first time I actually met her. Met her, no, I've probably seen her before, but it was the first time she's come to the house. And so, I decided to write, you know, happy birthday, Samantha, because her husband was away anyway. So, I was holding the cake in one hand and pouring, I had the, the whole glass pitcher full of hot water to pour hot tea for everybody and I poured it and I guess I was walking around somebody and I bumped it with my elbow and it went down my side of the leg which I had a dress on I had like a maxi dress on and it went through and everybody just got quiet and just stared at me and I'm still holding the cake I was, I was like surprised that I was still holding it because I would have been like drop it up but I'm holding the cake so I slowly put the cake down because <laughs> there was a lot of strange people there like I have never seen them before I put the cake slowly down and I ran into the bathroom and everybody was trying to get into the bathroom I'm like I don't know y'all people I'm not stripping down for y'all like Ryan was even trying to get in there and I'm like uh who you fit in the trash actually I didn't try to go in there <laughs> you kept asking like no, what I can I do what can I help and I'm like Y'all need to chill out because nobody else is coming in here. Like, it's fine. I mean, of course, it bubbled up. I have, I still have like a minor scar for, from it. It healed significantly because it's been a good four or five years. Oh, my Christmas! <laughs> Give me my Christmas! Get your new blanket. Ew, that blankie stinks! Ew, I want a new blankie. Where's my new blankie? Uh, yep. Mila. Uh, I was so excited for my new yeah, cell phone. Right <laughs> she had them all backwards. Yeah. I she love it. Like Bubby gave me a blanket. Thank you. Rip that tag off somebody. She looks like she's got a tail. What's your present? So this we'll is kind of our better. Christmas what morning happened? today. Um, even though it's the week before. But we'll we're celebrating the Cole family, which is Ryan's family. Go I have a picture with you and me. Okay, go. Mila, go tell them it's so good. We need two girls. Be careful. Look, Mila, open it. Open it. You got a present. 
Stand her up there. Stand her up there, Charlie. Ooh. Open the, open the thing and she'll pull it. Ooh. Here, let her open it. Where's my oh, present? I gotta wait. This is the one we got for Christmas. Oh. Mila, open it. See what it is. She's opening oh. it. Mommy, what Bobby Pile was her? <laughs> This is a aftermath of a Christmas partying. Um, I'm in my Christmas onesie. Um, Mila's watching her show. And of course, this is the weekend, so we're gonna enjoy a stack of pancakes and some good coffee. Honey, that needs to be charged. It's only 12% on there. Anyways, so we're about to eat breakfast. Uh, we just do some cleaning up today. Thank God we have some leftover food so I don't really have to cook today. Probably not even tomorrow. Did they leave all the food? Yeah. I mean, they, had, they took all the spices and stuff, but. Um, the chili we have, the mac and cheese. We still have some potatoes. So we had a really nice vegan meal. As you guys saw, Ryan recorded it because I was busy trying to put everything on the table, uh, but it was really, really good, and I actually created this Christmas tree pastry that I saw on Pinterest, and it worked out really well. I mean, there are some things that I would adjust, so it would be a little bit tastier, um, but I definitely want to put that on my blog as a recipe, because it doesn't have to be vegan. Um, you guys can definitely do something like that for your uh, Christmas feast with your family, and I think it's just so festive. Kind of a cool pastry to have on the table so i'll definitely be posting that either via youtube or my blog um sometime this week so be on the lookout for that um that way you can possibly recreate the same thing and tag me in it to show me that you guys did it but yeah we're about to dig in for our breakfast but um actually burned my hand this weekend and now my skin is shrinking uh, and it's drying so it's kind of painful but really the bad the worst two fingers is this one and this one so I need to still cover this one up it's pretty bad but it's all right it should get better by next week so so we are down here chilling it's Sunday after the family's gone Got the fire going, the baby's playing around with her new toys, and um, yeah, so this was kind of our weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our page. We always have a lot of fun vlogs um, that we do, and I also do other things such as DIYs, um, so be sure to continue following our journey, especially now that we're pregnant with our second baby. and. Um, other new things that are coming in the new year but as always create culture and be you and we'll see you guys next time in our next video bye, -bye.